UK professor Dr. Lumi Sawaki spends much of her time researching better ways to rehabilitate patients for one reason. After I finished my residency, actually I finished the residency in Brazil, I was not happy with the level of care we could deliver to spinal cord injury patients, stroke patients, traumatic brain injury patients. That's also why she joined the clinical team for the Walk Again Project, which is making headlines around the world for its unique role in the upcoming World Cup in Brazil. And the idea is to have somebody that is paraplegic, complete um, paraplegic, to kick a ball during the opening ceremony. The kick will be possible because of the team's development of a robotic exoskeleton that can be controlled by the patient's brain. So just believe that you have a spinal cord and you have a transaction here. So there is no way the signals can go from the brain to the legs, for example, or from the legs to the brain. So they don't have feelings. So what we're trying to do is to bypass in this so they send information to the exoskeleton so they can move their legs. They don't have sensation, so we have sensors uh, underneath the foot. So every time they step, they have a vibration coming to their, their arms. So they know more or less, you know, the, not only the, the speed of the walking, but also the this, this sense of when they have the foot down. And this is a major innovation for this project. Innovation she saw firsthand as patients in Brazil use the technology for the first time. All clinicians want to be a doctor to, to cure the patients. This is not a cure, but it is a big hope for them. And for them to see them walking for the first time, we have patients that had injury 12 years before coming to this project. And seeing their faces is, is just, it is the best thing for me. So you can imagine for them. A triumph that shows what's possible when experts from a variety of fields work as a team. There is no doubt in my mind that technologists, biomedic engineers, engineers and clinicians need to work very closely from now on. Um, so that we can bring better treatments for all these patients. So Walkie hopes the momentous kick sends a clear message to patients around the world. Even complete spinal cord injury patients can have hope. There are other ways that we can bring locomotion, mobility to those patients. A possibility she hopes will one day become a reality for patients everywhere, including here in Kentucky. But after the, the workout project, the Walk Again project will continue, hopefully in many continents, in a bigger scale. We have many, many ideas to make this more clinically available, that it has, can be used in day to, on day-to-day -day of the patients, but also to be something that is cost-effective. So hopefully we will have this technology available to many, many more people. Motivation that will continue to inspire Sawaki long after the limelight of the ceremonial kick fades. For UK Now, I'm Amy Jones-Timoney.